Hey guys, welcome back for a makeup haul video. So I want to show you some of the makeup items that I've purchased um, over the past few months. This probably this probably will be my last makeup haul for the year, just because I'm not I'm not gonna be buying anything else. I really try hard. I think I told you guys before. I really try hard not to purchase everything that comes out because so many things come come so many makeup products come out and. Um, if you watch YouTube videos all the time, you will want to buy everything. And that's just not that's just not budget friendly. And I think I'm going to try to bypass all of these holiday sets and things like that and just not purchase anything for the rest of the year. But I do want to show you guys the things that I um, have purchased lately. So um, I'm going to start with the Vice 3 palette. I have the Vice 1 and the Vice 2 palette and I adore those palettes and I decided to purchase the Vice 3 palette without ever even swatching it or being able to touch it just because I know that the, the colors were going to be beautiful. Um, Urban Decay has excellent eyeshadows. Probably my favorite out of all the makeup lines is Urban Decay. So this is the Vice 3 palette if you have not seen it and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. This color right here is beautiful. All these purple and pink shades are gorgeous. This deep blue shade would look so uh, pretty. Um, it's just like an outer V color with like an, uh, a jean outfit. I'm thinking about <laughs> like I, I have makeup looks with outfit looks all in my head. I'm thinking about doing like a two-toned uh, denim look. Like some dark denim pants. Like a lighter denim shirt. And then just put this in like my outer V. And then like a neutral eye with just a, a pop of that deep blue in my outer V. It's going to be so pretty. But anyway, some gorgeous colors in this palette. I highly recommend this palette. Let me just watch um, four of the colors. I'm going to do that beautiful green color. I'm going to do one of the purple, one of these colors. And then I'm going to do um, this one. I don't know. It's a silvery color. Okay, so that's four of the colors. We have this green, this is a purple, this is a really pretty pinky, a uh, bronzy color, and this is like a silver color. Let me just swatch it on my hands. Gorgeous colors, gorgeous colors. Very smooth texture. Love this palette. I'm going to be doing some looks with this, maybe some tutorials. I've been doing a lot of face of the day videos lately because they're easy to film, but I think I'm going to do a few tutorials with this palette. So I also bought two palettes that I showed you guys on my Facebook wish list. Two things that I was eyeing and I decided to purchase. And one was the Anastasia Beverly Hills My Mia palette. And it's very pretty. Love this palette. I particularly love the browns. I love the sienna. It's such a warm reddish brown. Looks beautiful in the crease. And I love this dark brown that looks almost black. Um, this is so great for deepening up your outer V without it being so intense like a black with B is a really deep brown so you can deepen up your outer V with a cool tone brown and it gives you the effect that a black would without being so harsh as a black so I really love that and then it has some really pretty colors um, let me swatch some of those okay so I swatched four of the colors we have aqua fresh peach glisten and gold bar okay so these are some of those colors uh, swatch Gold Bar, Glisten, Fresh Peach, and Aqua. Um, beautiful colors. Um, the pigmentation is decent. I definitely can do a beautiful eye look with it, but it's not as it's not as nice as Urban Decay shadows. <laughs> okay, so I got this Wet n Wild palette off eBay, and I think it's kind of like a dupe for the My Mia palette. Let me show you guys. So you got the My Mia palette, and you got this. Wet n Wild palette and they have a lot of similar colors. A lot of similar colors. Um, but I actually don't know when this Wet n Wild palette came out. I don't know if it's something new or something old because like I said I got it off eBay. I will put the seller's information in the description box if there's still palettes on eBay. If I go there and there's still some because I bought this last month. But if there's still some I'll put it down in the description box in case you're interested in, in it. But I absolutely love this palette. The colors are so nice. Um, let me swatch some of them for you. Okay, so I swatched one row for you. 
Um, I love these as highlight colors. These up top as highlight colors. I love this as an accent color. I love this to deepen up my outer V. I love this palette. It's really nice. Has uh, typical Wet n Wild uh, pigmentation, um, which is very nice quality for the price. And even though I bought it off eBay, um, it still wasn't that expensive. Um, so I don't think you can get it in stores. It's called Sparkle Till Morning. So I went into Sephora the other day and I bought my first ever OCC lip tar. I really don't care for <laughs> this type of lip product that you have to squeeze out and all that. I really don't quite care for that. But this color I could not pass up on. It is so pretty. So pretty. And this one is called, I'm looking all over to, to see the name. This one is called Black Dahlia. And it's a metal. So let me just kind of swatch it here. Look at that color. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's almost similar to what I have on my lips. Except it has like a shiny metallic finish. This is so pretty. This is an OCC Lip Tar in Black Dahlia, the metallic finish. I'm going to try this one of these days and see what kind of look I can get with this. This is so pretty to me. Also from Sephora, I got two of their Jumbo 12-hour waterproof Jumbo liners. They look like this. This is a brand new one that I haven't opened yet. And this is one that I used um, the other day. The one that I used the other day is called Beige. And let me swatch that for you. And let me open this other one right quick so I can swatch that for you. I bought these specifically just to use like NYX jumbo sticks because when I swatched it in the store I thought it was a little bit better quality than NYX jumbo sticks but when I got it home I don't really know if that's true um, I just bought it to use like underneath eyeshadow especially my lid colors because I have such a small lid space opening and closing my eyes all day sometimes my lid colors tend to kind of rub off and fade so I wanted to put this underneath my lid colors to kind of keep them in place, um, you know, stay in power, lasting power. And um, anyway, this is beige, and this one I think is called taupe. They're very similar in color. This one is a little bit lighter than this one. I wanted two kind of light colors because a lot of the time my lid colors are very light colors. I used beige the other day, and when I blended it out, it just kind of blended out splotchy and... I don't know if you can really see what I'm talking about, but it wasn't as I expected. I'll use these, but I won't buy any more of them. And they had some really pretty purples and blues and greens. They had some really pretty colors in these, but I don't think it's worth the money. They were $14 a piece, and I don't think it's worth it. Now, I've been so not wanting to do eyeshadow looks going to work every day. I've been just throwing on liner and a lip color and just going to work like that and I've been really loving these Urban Decay 24-7 liners to do like a colorful liner and it gives me all of the great dramatic effect that an eyeshadow look would, would give you but without the time spent blending so anyway I bought quite a few of these pencils in beautiful uh, purples and blues and greens so the first one um, my hand is wet I have a I have a makeup wipe here to wipe off my swatches so my hand is wet. So I have this beautiful teal color. It's called Mainline. I'm going to swatch that for you. That's Mainline. Um, I have this sparkly green color called Junkie. So pretty. Junkie. I have another like, uh, it's like a deeper green. It's called Invasion. A, yeah, it's like a deeper green. It's called Invasion. It's right there. It's probably not. You can, probably can't see the green, but it is definitely a deep, deep green. Um, I have this sparkly blue color called LSD. And that's LSD right by it. And then I have this just plain purple color called Empire. These are so smooth and creamy and they last all day. And if I line my top lid with them, I don't have to worry about them going anywhere. 
And then I just got a basic black, but it's a very dark black. And this is, I think, Perversion. Yeah, Perversion. So those are the 24-7 Glide-On pencils that I purchased. So ever since I tried that Laguna blush from Cargo, the orange one that I wore like forever during the summer, I fell in love. So I decided to buy two more Cargo blushes. And the first one I bought is in Key Largo. So pretty. Oh my goodness, so pretty. That's Key Largo. Hot pink color and it's so pigmented. Key Largo. Just gorgeous color. I love this color. And then I bought like a more natural, a more soft looking blush. This is called Rome. Um, this is what, what Rome looks like. This is just going to give me a soft peachy cheek. Um, so let me swatch Rome for you. It has like gold in it too. It's going to give me a nice like golden peachy cheek probably do this like I'll do like bronzer and then I'll put this like right at the top like a blush slash highlighter so I got those two blushes from Cargo okay so when I was shopping at Dillard's I think it was Dillard's or Macy's or somewhere and I bought like some Estee Lauder products um, anyway I got a sample of the benefits they're real um, mascara sample size I actually got two samples. I don't know how I ended up with two. I think it was purchases on two separate occasions. But anyway, I got a sample size. I've been using one, and I like it, but I don't like it. I like it because it does make your lashes look really, really long. But after you've built up the length, then it kind of has the, that thick, spidery look to it. And I've heard so many good things about this mascara, and I don't know if I'm just not, if I'm using too much or, or whatever, but if I use too much of my Lab Maybelline Great Lash, I don't get that spidery look. But if I use too much of this, I do. Although it does build up the lashes, I don't like that, that thick, clumpy look. So, um, I'm just glad I have it as a sample, so I didn't have to spend my money on it and realize that I didn't like it, but... Okay, so the last thing I want to show you that I purchased was the, I, was, I purchased some more Estee Lauder Double Wear. And with your purchase, you can get a, additional items for um, $10. So the rest of the stuff that came in this box was only $10 if you purchase the foundation. So I purchased another Rich Cocoa. I'm in love with this foundation. And then I got some, some other goodies. So let me show you. So, it comes with a foundation brush. It comes with a small travel size, not travel size, sample size of the Dark Spot Correcting Night Serum. It's called Enlighten. It comes with a sample size of the Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Recovery Complex 2. I heard a lot of good stuff about this and I tried it one night. I tried it one night. I don't know why I didn't continue to, tr to use it. But I just tried it one night and it made my skin feel so soft. So I think if I use it like if I use up this whole sample size because you don't have to use a lot just dab dab you know just a little bit. If I use up this whole sample size and I notice a different difference in my skin or I really really like it I'm going to purchase a full size although it's kind of expensive. Um, but I just I, I don't mind spending money on stuff skincare stuff because you know I only got this face so once this face goes bad then you know what can I do <laughs> so try to keep it looking as youthful as as possible and then I got a primer and this is the Estee Lauder matte perfecting primer I haven't used this yet but I'm gonna try it so I got those things okay so I got a few things from MAC I got two lipsticks one is living legend I showed you guys this lipstick in my uh, face of the day video beautiful beautiful um, matte deep berry color burgundy color and then I also got freckle tone with which is a luster finish and I bought this because I like this as a nude and let me see if I can swatch that that's that one very moisturizing nude color wear it with a brown lip liner and it's a just very nice natural look I'm not gonna open this because you've seen this a lot of times 
in other videos but it's just a studio fix powder i guess i will open it why not it's just a studio fix powder and nw45 i bought this for my purse because right now i have a powder that i use and i have to when i do my makeup in the morning i take it off my vanity i put it in my purse so i can kind of touch up my face during the day and then when i get ready to do my makeup the next day i have to take it out of my purse and i get tired of taking it out putting it back in so i bought one specifically for my purse and then the other one i will just keep on my makeup vanity so I, I bought four single eyeshadows, and I bought this color, Stars and Rocket. It's a beautiful iridescent purple. Um, so pretty. So pretty. Stars and Rocket. So pretty. Oh, I can't wait to use that. Then I bought Silver Ring. I actually love silver eyeshadow, but I don't wear it a lot because I don't have very many silver eyeshadows. So this is Silver Ring. Typical gunmetal silver color, but the pigmentation is great. A silver ring. And then I bought two favorites, two of my all time favorites Amber Lights. You know what? Amber Lights looks very similar to that bronze color in the, um, Nate in the Vice 3 palette that I use for my face of the day. I'm just now realizing that it looks very similar to that. That so that's not good. I don't need like a ton of these goldy bronze colors. But if you're interested in one and you don't have one, Amber Lights is super pretty on brown skin. Then the last one is another one of my all time favorite shadows. And it's called Woodwink. And it's such a pretty soft gold. This watch is not doing it justice. It's such a pretty soft gold color. Blend it out with a nice cool tone brown. And you have just a pretty neutral eye. Gorgeous lit color. And that's Woodwink. Alright guys. That is it for this makeup haul video. I hope you enjoy. If you're new to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. I try to put up videos every week. But I'm going to be doing a challenge in the month of November and I'm going to tell you guys about it. It's going to be a personal challenge for me and my YouTube channel and I'll tell you guys about that later. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more videos. I will talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Um, Chunky Fro, I really, really like it. Okay, so let's talk about my makeup. So for my foundation and powder, I use the typical foundation and powder that I've been showing you guys um, lately. Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm just going to skim by this stuff because you guys have seen it before. The Estee Lauder Double Wear. 